How's it guys? I'm back again. Um, so I'm just going to run through the actual smoker itself. Um, we do wholesale these, so any of your, your major fish shops, anything that, uh, any shop that's really going to be stocking quality product is going to have our Snowby stuff there. Now these, let's start off with this, it's our Snowby smoke dust. Now this is kiln dried oak. It is the best smoke dust on the market in all honesty it doesn't go bitter like a lot of them do if you put a little bit too much or if you cook it for a little bit too long and it gives you a lovely lovely flavor in the uh, trout in the mackerel if you want to you can if you're very careful with this you can do cheeses but um as being a hot smoker it doesn't lend itself well to that it does chicken very well you can even do pork and things like that it does it does add a very very nice flavor to it and uh, it's cheap and it lasts you a hell of a long time so that's our Snowbee smoke dust. Now the smoker itself, as you've seen, um, comes in a nice little compact box. And voila, it's opened. Now, the smoker itself, we should have done this beforehand. It's got a very nice little lid to it. This is all made of very high quality stainless steel. So you're not going to have to worry about rusting or anything like that. Very simply, comes a little stand. You have two little burners that come with it, they've got a little lid, they just fit in there. We're not going to undo everything, it's just a bit of a hack. Um, so we're around. You're going to fill those with mets. Um, the exact amount is comes down to a little bit of trial and error. These are just the little bits and bobs that fit on the lid itself. So you've got a little thing that you can adjust the actual amount of air that comes through or out. Then the nice thing about these, You've got a little instruction manual that comes with it. This has got everything you actually need to know about it. Smoking is a little bit of trial and error, so it is nice to have a nice good starting point. But this allows you to, to get a point to start at and then you can fiddle from there. Okay. This is your, your buck. Nice, also stainless steel. Um, thick enough and thin enough so it still heats up very quickly, but it's not going to bend or anything like that. That fits beautifully onto your your little holder there. Looks like that. There. Now you've got a little recess in here. No, I should show you that. A little recess over here. You might not be able to see with all the lighting, but it's basically just a little indentation. Now, you're gonna put your smoke dust on there. That's gonna sit above here. And then you've got a little cover. Looks like that. Very, very simple. Also stainless steel, another little bit. That's gonna fit. Excuse the sound. If it's over there so the meat juices and stuff don't drip into that smoke dust and, and alter the, the actual flavor that's coming out. That's on there. Then you've got grid number one. Now that's going to fit in over there. And you've got grid number two that just slots in to that. So now you've got a single smoker but you've got two different racks so you can do they, according to them, you can do four, four to five small trout. Though for us uh, South Africans, a small trout is uh, over a kilo, so different story. Um, or two large trout. So if you dehead them, detail them, like Ray did so very well in that video as you saw earlier, or you do mackerel in here, you can do chicken fillets in here, you can do literally anything you want. The nice thing about smoking is you can play. Now, this fits into there, just like that. You see. Nice, compact, nice and clean. The stainless steel makes it very, very easy to clean afterwards and please do clean it afterwards. Um, while everything's still nice and warm, it cleans very nicely. And obviously the lid fits on top of here. Um, it doesn't have any of the handles on yet, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. But that fits on there. Very, very nice compact unit for your general home smoking. Um, this works very, very well. This keeps everything nice and compact, nice and things and it does more than enough volume for your actual uh, smoking at home. So for you guys wanting to do anything really at home, that you're not gonna have to need the, the giant smoker that you're gonna see in a little bit. So Ray's doing his uh, commercial smoking. Um, he is the king of smoking in this place. So this is 
what we should have probably done right in the beginning, this is what's called hot smoking. So that's when you have your heat source and the items that you're smoking in the same unit. So that's done generally for, the stuff that you get in shops is generally uh, cold smoked. So that's done over a very, very long period of time. So the cold smoking, you have your heat source in one section, then you have a pipe taking that smoke through and then into an area where, or a unit where your, um, your smoking stuff is. So you're gonna hang like your kippers or your, your chicken or anything like that or sausages in that area and then that gets smoked over a very long period of time, weeks at a time sometimes. Hot smoking, you've got your heat source and your smoker, uh, your smoke and your, your smoking stuff in the same same sealed unit. So then your heat is, is releasing the smoke and it's also cooking the meat at the same time. So it's a hell of a lot quicker. We're talking 20 minutes um, for chicken breast and things like that, trout sometimes even quicker. So yeah, that's the, the Snowbee smoker. Stainless steel obviously gets a little, the little lid on top here so you can lift it easier, gets handles on the side, the clip it closed, and that's all in that little goodie bag, you don't want to open it. Um, and yeah, just sits nicely, nice and solid, it's not going to fall over, it's not flimsy like you get in a lot of shops. Um, it's worth every single cent and it will last you a lifetime being stainless steel. So yeah, that's the Snowbee smoker, um, nice compact unit, perfect for home smoking and uh, pairs well with that Snowbee smoke dust, you can use it with any other dust if you want to.